I'm Guy Shalom. I'm in West Cork, Belody Hob in fact, and I'm here today to explain to you something very, very, very crucial about drumming. What I want you to do is, it doesn't matter what style of music you're playing, what drum, what instrument, when you're working on a specific rhythm, I want you to focus on finding out what it is that makes that rhythm work. What makes it tick? What makes it swing? Okay, I, did, I had planned to have an accordionist um, come and sit in with us for this session, but uh, he wasn't available today, so I've got uh, Finbar, the singing leprechaun, to uh, assist us. You'll hear more from him later on. So, I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. We're going to use the Egyptian Maxoom. How to play the Egyptian Maxoom. Here's the skeleton rhythm. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. So, right hand doom, left hand tack. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. Great. Work on that. Then, do the whole rhythm with your right hand, moving between doom and tack position. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. So, that's fine as a skeleton rhythm in itself, but what we want to do, we want to go up a gear, give it a little bit more forward motion. So we use something we call the bridge. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack, tack, a doom, tack, tack, doom, tack, tack, a doom, tack, tack, doom, tack, tack, a doom, tack. Okay? And uh, there's simply a right, left, right. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack, tack, a doom, tack, tack, doom, tack, tack, a doom, tack, tack, doom, tack, tack, a doom. Okay? Practice it with the tacks on both hands. Then, what we have for n to go up a further gear, we have the walking maxoom, where you're filling in the gaps, okay? So the right hand is playing the rhythm, the, the skeleton rhythm, boom, tack, tack, boom, tack. You've got your right and left hands playing the bridge, boom, tack, tack, 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 tack. Then you're going to fill in the gaps with the left hand. Okay? Learn this. Doom ta ka tak doom ka tak taka doom ta ka tak doom ka tak taka. Doom ta ka tak doom ka tak taka doom ta ka tak doom ka tak taka. When you've got that, then you're gonna go up another gear to really make the true Maxu as we play it in the band in Egyptian style. Okay? The skeleton rhythm, we're gonna use a pop for the main tacks. So we have doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. To create the pop, we're using a left hand tack. We're blocking the skin uh, a third of the way down to create a higher pitch. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. Add the bridge. Doom, tack, tack, doom, tack. Add the walking maxoom, filling in the gaps with the left hand on attack. That's how we play maxoom in the Egyptian bands. I'm getting bidden by midges. <laughs> I'm going to finish there. I'm going to play you the maxoom one more time. See you next time, and I'll leave you with the words of Spinbar, the singing leprechaun. See you next time.